Order. We'll give Michael a chance to find a seat. Uh, there's one right up here. That's the only one you, you can get. Otherwise, the well's dry. Thank you. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. This is a special meeting of City Council here on the 14th. Press and public have been duly notified. I'm glad everybody was able to accommodate their schedule and, uh, and be present. This is a continuing dialogue we're having on the beach management uh, process for parking. Uh, it's been a long, drawn-out process. The Planning Commission spent, I, I'm going to say, years on the process. Um, this last time, uh, we've spent a series of months uh, looking at a number of things, including working with Stantec and getting their recommendations, and now we're down to uh, almost weekly meetings to uh, ferret out more and more details. Uh, before I go on, I'd let everybody know that we have some dignitaries with us. We have <laughs> Mike Satilli is with us, our representative <coughs> from the state. Kim Ussery is back there. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Benke and Chauncey Clark are here from Sullivan's Island, and uh, other guests from the city, city and uh, the press, of course, are always welcome. And our staff is here. Could the minutes be shown that Andy Benke is wearing shorts? <laughs> 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 he said I have physical therapy. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we're going downhill quickly here. <laughs> Since we last met, which seems like only yesterday, but. It was a little over a week ago. Um, a lot of material has been prepared, taking our input, uh, which was coalesced from the input we received from the citizens when we had our public hearing and forum, not a hearing, uh, forum, uh, and put it all into a shape that is before us now is, I'm going to refer to as concept A and concept B. Um, and hopefully we don't get the C and D, but just A. <laughs> A1 and A2, or B1 and B2, but uh, I'll ask Linda to introduce how we've gotten this far and then uh, walk us through, and I'm certain you've had a chance to read and digest, and so hopefully we can move quickly through some of this. Okay. I will try to make it quick. Um, just as you said, concept A and concept B, they are, they are merely that. They are intended uh, as documents that have taken the input that we heard at the public hearing when Stantec presented what they were recommending uh, that the city uh, do. We took that input and then input and ideas that we received uh, from this group as a result of uh, that meeting and the input and, and sort of taking Stantec's recommendation as a base, taking their information related to data and, and things of that nature and trying to um, <coughs> use that to craft something that would give you all working documents and, and there's nothing set in stone about any of these. None of these have received any kind of layers of approval or anything like that. So they're all, uh, they can all be adjusted. Um, and I, I do believe that uh, we're going to determine that they need to be adjusted and there may be some better ideas that come out of this meeting. What I will do is, is highlight concept A's and, con and concept B uh, and then uh, Douglas is going to review them on the map so you can see them visually. So first of all, concept A was, was really the simpler of the two where we basically said everywhere where our current beach management plan identifies parking for beach access, we will call that the beach access parking area, which is the area where one would have to pay to on the rights of way to be able to park during the peak season, basically end of May <coughs> through the end of August, during the peak times of day, um, which we've identified as in here as nine to six. Understand if you want to compress that time frame for something like this to, you know, lesser period of months, and also compress the time of day to, you know, maybe ten to ten to four or something. All of those things, you know, could be done. So you had the the. Beach overlay district was the way it was couched when we had uh, discussions about it, but that the way that we have used to identify it associated with data has been our current approved plan, which that current approved plan, I believe, that, uh, dates back all the way to um, 07 or 08. So the, I mention that because, and this is apropos to both concept A and concept B, um, we do not know that all of those parking spaces that were identified <coughs> in 
um, in back in 07 or 08 are still there now. There may have been modifications to the street or no parking on one side or the other or uh, parking four feet off or all wheels off that may make some uh, compression of the number of spaces that could be counted. But we just use that as the basis for identifying where the beach access parking was. Everything else other than that becomes residential parking permit only. So basically the remainder of the island, and again this is only, would be enforced only during the peak season. Uh, other times of the year, while it, there would be a sign up saying residential district, it would only be enforced during the, the peak season the same time as the beach overlay district is enforced. Um, uh, residents and owners would have to obtain um, through um, online software a permit that would be a, we would be hoping for uh, electronic license recognition permit that could easily be done so that their uh, tags on their vehicles would be identified as having permission to park in the residential district. And while it doesn't explicitly say it, I don't think clearly in this concept mm -hmm. A, but that residential sticker would also entitle uh, the person to park in the beach parking as well. So, um, so residents would be parking in their district, which is basically all of the residential area except for um, the area identified in beach uh, access parking and then, and then also in beach access parking. We deliberately, in just these concepts, though it would ultimately, I think, have to be treated in some way, eliminated some areas uh, from this, and that was the rec center, uh, the uh, breach inlet, and also right. the marina. Uh, just because those get to be a little more complicated and um, so we, we just didn't treat them for purposes of, of uh, concept A. Um, so that's the basic structure and, and then concept B sort of refines concept A a little more because there was some discussion and we received some input uh, at the meeting and, and you know via council that um, some residents j just didn't feel like they should have to do anything. Let's say they uh, rarely go to the beach um, and you know they, they live a long way from the beach and so we just basically thought well let's stick to just those areas that currently are very much impacted by the beach access parking. So we stuck with our same beach overlay district um, so no, no change to where that's identified but the area that would be residential parking permit only is, it, it really stops, I believe it's at Hartnett. Is it Hartnett? Yes. Yeah. Um, it stops at Hartnett. If you think of Hartnett, you know, so the, the area becomes more compressed. That gets identified as a residential parking by permit only. Those people who live in that district would have to go through the process of getting their identification for that store <coughs> and they would be able to park in their residential district and then also in the beach access parking. The rest of the area would remain unregulated. However, in concept B, it has the provision that either the city at its, at its own initiative could say, you know, this area is getting congested with beach access parking and is becoming unsafe. Um, you know, residents can't get in and out of their homes because of the congestion. And so it could be that the district then gets expanded, uh, either based on a decision of the city or residents that live in that area, they could, they could carve out a section and say, we want to come into the residential parking area and they would petition the city to be able to do that. The city would then conduct a study and make a decision as to whether or not that district should be expanded to include more houses. So concept B, while it starts out as a smaller by permitted parking, residential per permitted parking only, it has the potential for people to come into it if they want to. And that sort of takes the the concern away for people who, who might be saying now I'm not impacted and, and don't don't really want to have to do anything and I'm not going to the beach and so um, so it, it helps with that but it opens the door to be able to do something in the future if it becomes a problem in their neighborhoods.
So that's sort of a nutshell version of the concepts that, that you have before you to, to, as a framework. Um, and Douglas, if you'll go quickly mm -hmm. through, make sure we have a good visual depiction. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out uh, this map because I think it fairly well um, will show the differences between concept A and concept B. And this map is showing the Atlantic Ocean here, um, the back of the island, intercoastal water, waterway here, here's the rec center, and then here's 41st Avenue just to pour in everybody. And you can see this red squiggly line is outlining. Uh, can you stand on the other side? For the, audience? <laughs> there you go. the um this area here identified in red is, is the area that the beach management plan identifies as having spaces that are, that are available uh, for beach access. So this would be the area where um, beach visitors could come, they would have to buy a permit, uh, and they would, they would need to stay in those zones. Once you get out of those zones, and, and, and uh, these two concepts will differ here, but in concept A, this entire back portion of the island would be regulated as resident only park. So, um, you know, and that's the, that's the idea where if you live back here um, on 25th or, or 30th Avenue, you would still have to register your guests. You would still have to uh, register your license plate if you wanted to park in that right of way. Then when you get to concept B, the, the red area is the same. It's still the, it's still uh, those places identified in the beach management plan as beach visitor parking would be treated just the same in the two concepts. You'd have to buy a permit to park here. Um, and now you'll see that that green part is compressed. And, and we, the beach management plan uh, generally uses a distance of 500 feet to a beach access. We kind of roughly used a dimension of 1,000 feet. So we, we just doubled what was in the beach management plan. Uh, and that yellow line is roughly uh, 1,000 feet from a beach access. And so if you're in that area more than 500 feet but less than 1,000 feet, you would be under that program of still needing to register guests, uh, register your car. But if you're in this area on the back part of the island that was more than 1,000 feet away, then you would be completely unregulated. There's, and there's, you know, there's pros and cons to that. Um, you would not have to register your car if a guest showed up at a last minute uh, unannounced. You wouldn't have to register that guest. Uh, would be the would be the pro is you would you would lose some of that those inconveniences. You wouldn't have to deal with them. The con would be is that if somebody came to park in your yard as a beach visitor, there'd be no regulation that would keep that from happening. So, you know that's why we thought it might be wise to build in some flexibility uh, if if issues started up one particular avenue, uh, the council and the police department could look at that and change those boundaries as they needed. As I said, they all, um, all of these have a concept A and a concept B behind them. They're, they're generally the same um, concept. They are the same concept, but the, obviously different parts of the island have different, different graphs, dimensions. so we can... Jimmy? Uh, thank you. Um, one of the areas that I hear a lot of complaints about is 41st Avenue and Waterway Boulevard down in that section closest to the marina. So there we're calling that an un, on concept B, an unregulated area. So that would continue to be an unregulated area. So, so in, in both of the concepts, we have kind of, you know, I will say, dodged that by saying we, we will need to work out the, the details of how the marina would work how the rec center would work, how breach inlet would work. <coughs> they all have their own. So, so while you're right, you're correct. You know, and if you look at the drawing, um, in concept B, it's unregulated. In concept A, it is shown as regulated resident only. But I think on, under either scenario, we'd need to iron out those details. Thank you. One of the things that was passed out that you have in front of you here is the city of Charleston map with all of the different residential districts that they have accumulated over the years. I'm certain this map didn't start out with all of these uh, colored, 
I guess it goes from A to I. <laughs> I don't know. Is, it, is there a J? Mm -hmm. Up on the top. Oh, J. Sorry. Uh, so as B has proposed in this concept, uh, I'm certain in Charleston they also added districts based on the feedback from citizens and a statistical workup for the density and, and the impact that uh, uh, the residents were feeling from from uh, from uh, parking and and so these have been added. The concept uh, as drafted uh, try to emulate as close as possible the uh, legal structure that was put in place by the city of Charleston and the city of Columbia when they went to the permit uh, system for parking by residents only. I'm, I'm really looking at Sterling here just to, <laughs> so she confirms that. Thank you. Um, but so this is this allows an evolve B allows an evolving process uh, to develop as opposed to just everybody in the same boat at the same time. And I, I would uh, just point out that the the kind of a difference that you'll see in the city map and the and um, our map is that they're not delineating what's paid parking if if they had the same red dashed area around their paid parking it would actually look very similar and that the, the paid parking is right in the middle of the city and then the residential districts are on either side right right yes yeah just because it's not color coded right they have doesn't, shown mean, you where doesn't you have, have a pay. parking control in that case, it would be paid parking. Okay. Can I ask a question? On that? Yeah, anybody can. Um, so, people who live in A cannot park in B. People in B can't park in C, and so on and forth down the line. Is That's that correct? correct. That mm -hmm. is correct. Then, unless they pay. I mean, I mean, if I, I live the in A, opportunity for a sticker. Well, or, or, yeah, or have, have, have this pass. pass. All right. Mm -hmm. But and all the color that where it's not colored, you're saying that's probably pay parking, that's probably meters Meter. and stuff. Mm -hmm. In the, in the central, in that in the central, central spine court. that you yeah. see, that's commercial. Mm -hmm. right. That yeah. would be pay. Yeah. But then when you get on the on the outskirts of that, then that's just. Okay. Can I ask a question, sort of off of Jimmy's? So Waterway, the residents of Waterway consider this a huge challenge with the traffic from the marina. Could the residents of Waterway go through the petition, get 50% of the people sure. on Waterway, mm -hmm. and petition sure. would be, mm -hmm. so that could be, Waterway could be a section. Or we, we can designate something specific for Waterway. I mean, as this body, we can do that. Before. It can um, come, it, it could happen either way. You yeah. know, at least under concept B, the way it's structured, you have the option of, of residents getting together and, at, and requesting it of the city, or if the city perceives that there's a concern, the city would have the ability to, to do that as well. I think that, that one of the nice things about the petitioning <coughs> process is that it, that is the people coming and saying that they want it, right. and right. it sort of helps us with this problem of, of feeling like people are getting regulated uh, when they maybe don't want the additional regulation and inconvenience. It's basically them saying, we've met our limit, it is becoming too unsafe. We can't get in and out of our houses. I'm having to clean up too much trash. Some of the things that we have heard that are happening in the in the uh, core areas where people are parking now. So you've got to have the traffic and the and the data to back it up to get the designation. It, it and so um, that's what concept B is. I, I don't want to get hung up on the marina. We have that under that's special. That's why we didn't touch We it. have the, that under special study, even though it's on Waterway and 41st, the right. Planning Commission, consultants, et cetera. Hopefully we'll come up, they'll have a better idea of what can be handled at the marina and proper, and then we can decide what's going to be done external to that, and, and this may or may not impact here. Uh, Mr. Mayor, and I keep on, I'm sorry to ask so many questions. No, so what, that's what we're here for. Both A and B show the north end of Isle Palm starting at 42nd Avenue going out up to 53rd Avenue. Each one of those side streets is being a parking except for 48th and 40, 47th. 47th, 47th. 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 Yes. And, We've heard, I think, pretty loud and clear from the residents down there that they don't want parking. So, on those side streets, and I think I look at those. I'm looking at the chief as I say this. Um, I see those as being dead end streets, and I see them being very difficult to get emergency vehicles in and out of there for any kind of emergency. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't. I don't think we're helping that end of the island. Um, that's the, the way. Question. 
I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's the concern we had at the last meeting. Right. That's one that I raised, the fact that, you know, <clears throat> that's not a through street. It's not like some of the, the lower number streets in the other end of the island where it's a through street where emergency vehicles can get through. That's a public safety hazard. When you have cars lining both ways the road, you have one, one you know, emergency vehicle can get in and can't back out or has to back all the way out. Like you said, that's what exactly what the Public Works Department does now. Right. They have to pull in. They can't turn around. They have to back all the way out. And that becomes a public safety hazard. And that's one of the things we had discussed is eliminating parking along those side streets and just only making it along Palm than being able to walk up using that street as a beach access path. Mr. Mayor. Barb. Yeah, we totally agree. The, the, this is what the beach management plan says. This mm -hmm. isn't what mm -hmm. so no, I agree. Right. Have, and one way to adapt that possibly to go back to when we were talking about parking a few years ago, that there is room at each dead end of that street for, to, so we can still fulfill the beach management plan mm -hmm. to put four cars in mm -hmm. each one of those and then no parking for the rest of the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we have to fulfill the beach management plan and we can't do it by putting them out on Palm, mm -hmm. that would be a solution to that. And once again, there's two ways to do this. It, it would require, and I, I guess I have a question with this, if in fact it requires 50% of the residents to request that in the unrestricted area, uh, does that include non-residents, the property owners? That's the question. We really. have to define that. Right. I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then the other, again, in a situation like Ryan is just talking about, if we deem it unsafe, we can just make that decision. Well, we, we dealt with the safety issue when we, when we required people to get their tires off the road. In right. that area. So that, mm -hmm. uh, and that, mm -hmm. and Park. No, well, no, all the tires. No, no, all the tires it's, have it's to still be an issue. It's still a safety issue. It's still very narrow. Well, there are a it lot is. of narrow roads. <clears throat> well, I'm saying it's, it's not dead ends. ends. It's not dead ends, though. And that's, that's the difference between, right. like, this one, between the, the upper numbered streets and getting down closer, you know, second, near, near, you know, near Fifth Avenue or whatever, the Ninth Avenue or whatever, those other ones that are, go all the way through. Well, here's your scenario. There's a call for a heart attack. The first people there is one of our big engines. And the firemen, and maybe another one. The last person there is probably the ambulance to take these yeah, people away. Mm -hmm. And you're, you know mm -hmm. that that's just the potential of having them parked out almost at Palm because they can't get close enough to the house, and the truck can't go anywhere. So I mean that that's just a thought. If yeah. we have to have parking to fulfill our beach management plan, we can. No, you can't. Don't you? That that doesn't fulfill it. It can't be Palm because it's more than 500 more feet than away. Right. It's too far. It's too far. <laughs> For 54th up, it can be Palm. I know <laughs> the look on your face, <laughs> but uh, but it would fulfill it by putting deadhead at the very end, which are spaces now. The turtle team has used those spaces right. for 10, 12 years. Now there are a lot of them are overgrown, but there are some spaces that exist there that would not impact the fire trucks or whatever. So um, we're saying that that we don't need both sides of the road parking if we had it on Palm plus those other just the places, dead heads of the there would be enough yeah. parking for people who wanted to be there, but we'll still well, be it's enough parking to fulfill our beach management. Right. Right. Uh, a right. question right. for Douglas. Um, but that would be no, excuse me, before you go on, that would be no parking for anybody on that road. Right. Right. It, it, it mm -hmm. wouldn't be resident only because then you have, you, you're still back in the safety question. There'd be no parking period. Okay. On the right of way. Yeah. On the right of way. Right. 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 Uh, real quick, for Douglas, I'm not sure what your distances are, but I think the beachfront management says for one-eighth of a mile, we have to have six parking places for every one-eighth of a mile. What is the distance from this spot to this spot? Is that, could we have like three parking places at the end of each street? Would that? I think you could. Um, and we, we did this. We went through this exercise. Yeah, we went through this Take, take scale. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it is almost 300 feet between now of course I have to equate <laughs> that to miles but I to answer your question I know that four did it and, and it's actually a multitude of six so I'm yeah. fairly sure that three and three would would yeah, achieve 50, the same. feet yeah yeah so that's kind of a simple solution there. We still meet the Beachfront Management Act and protect those neighborhoods. Except for 
three spots at the end of the yeah, road. Yeah, except for three spots at the end of every road. And, 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 and the entire road is then no parking for anyone. But why? Because we have uh, parking, limited parking on 4th through 6th, 7th, and 8th, and I, it, it just yeah. becomes residential only parking. Right. Well, right. That, I think that, what I'm hearing okay, so it's yeah. a that, then it's not a safety, safety yeah. 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 You, know, you can't. You, can't. Made, okay. you made right. your argument a moot yeah. point yeah. by a lot. Right. <laughs> okay, so can I just, so that if we were going back to the drawing board, I understand that um, what you guys would, what I'm hearing is that you don't necessarily want to make all of those streets no parking, but you'd like to make sure it's just the minimum amount required to be able to still keep credit and also uh, to situate it in such a way that maximizes the safety on, on those streets. I guess. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other questions on concept A versus B? Any concerns? I mean, it, I, I have a preference, but I, I don't want to state it, but <laughs> well, um, <laughs> until I hear from others. I'll be frank. I have, comp I have a lot of concerns about concept B. Uh, on something, number one, on one side of the island, we have you know, no, it's all resident, and then here we have a special rule, and I have to tell you, you look at other beaches that are, get a lot of traffic elsewhere, you know, we have our own little world here on Isle Palm, it's a great place, but if you go to other beaches, it's not unusual for people to walk a thousand feet <coughs> to get to a beach. I mean, you go to New Jersey, people park four or five blocks back to get to the beaches there on a regular basis, because they want to get to the beach. And so I really think we could be taking the parking problem and pushing it back to the people and harden it into the neighborhoods. And and then the other thing is it's like... In, in which case, they have the opportunity. We can move the, the, uh, move the, move the line back, like you said. Well, I, I guess what I'm saying is that we, we have a universal plan for everybody on the island, and that's why we, we spell it out. It's, it's fair, it's equitable across the board. And uh, uh, Concept A uh, handles that. Why don't we take a, uh, an idea of, of consensus <coughs> for A or B? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to let me, let me, yeah, I'd like to make let a me finish with this. Okay. Right. Okay. And also, you run into a situation where you have people in neighborhoods where some of the neighbors want to go one way and some of the neighbors want to go the other way. And, you know, I don't want to do something that's going to create more stress in the neighborhood where, you know, neighbor against neighbor. And I think that's what's going to happen where you're going to have. You know, two two houses next to each other like the idea of unregulated, and other three houses on the block one or the other way. I, I think we're, we're we're opening up a can of worms here that could be uh, perceived negative. Patrick, no, I get he, he just addressed. <laughs> I was going to argue against that, but that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're neighbors. Very, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. neighbors you know, should get. I, what, one of the takeaways I had from the community meeting that there are a lot of people out there that don't feel that parking will ever impact them. They, they, and they don't want to have anything to do with tickets or Google passes, whatever they don't want to call in. And this covers that. This allows them to stay exactly where they are. Forest Trail, for example. And, and then, if things do get the way we believe it's going to get because of the population growth use of the Cooper, then the city can step in or <coughs> with the citizens concurrence <coughs> do something to protect the neighborhood right, Mr. right. Mayor, I can say no matter what we do it's all going to be moved without enforcement right okay and the biggest problem is it's going to be enforcement I mean we have the hardest time now with enforcement um, I think with concept B it t kind of takes an area and consolidate that a little bit more so our public safety can go through and enforce the parking better. And we're not spread out throughout the island. And although if we do have a complaint somewhere else in the island, we can address it. Deal with it. But right now what it does, <clears throat> it consolidates it so we can actually better enforce the regulations. What good is that? What good is a law or regulation if you don't if you can't enforce it? And that's what we have right now at Concept B, I like it. It's I think it gives us that the ability to enforce a smaller zone. With the option, uh, yeah. adding to yours, with the option to add to it, to expand at, it. At, at the discretion of council or at the, <coughs> the neighbors, et cetera. Right. right. Uh, all of the above. Mr. Sandy. You know, I agree with concept B because in, in the beginnings, what we're looking at is 
um, beach access. Right. And beach access to me isn't on the ICW. Um, so I think Concept B gives us that ability to consolidate it at the beach side where, where most of the problems are. The only other comment I have is in all of this documentation it mentions Memorial Day through August and I thought we had talked about the fact that our, our season is much longer than that. That you know, we can we can we can move we can move that you know, open dog, it or, yeah, or close our it at, a, at our own. Are April first to September fifteenth, something well, like that. I don't that. think April first, but I think May first. If you look, <laughs> if you look at the Santec charts, we had some significant peak weeks in May. Right. April's, no, I don't think we're, we're, we could, we, we really need to regulate that. At, I think at, it's at this not point, too bad, but right. May, so May at this point, we're working as fast as we can, as hard as we can, <laughs> to put anything in place, mm -hmm. and we'll get it in place whenever it's available. Uh, in, in the first year, that could be April, could be May, could okay. be June. Well, by the saying is could be June by the time we're in any any kind of shape to do this. But if you study uh, the data, May is May has some peak weekends in there that need to be covered. Well, you you got to read the almanac to April. figure out which. <laughs> gonna get a and how about through time. one of our big holiday weekends, Labor Day? Well, you got to go through Labor Day. Memorial Day through Labor, Labor Day. Right. Yeah, that, that, At least that hits the. But. And, and also the time. I think that could be compressed to nine to five. I mean, if we're, you know, kite boarders, dog walkers again, you know, they're not on the beach during the day, they come in the evening. So <clears> just a thought instead of nine to six. Marty, you have a, I, I, like, the, I like the nine to five thing. A or B, and, or do and, you have and I'm on Hartnett, so <laughs> <laughs> you're in regardless. You're right, right. Personally, uh, Jimmy, any comments, thoughts? I'm leaning towards B. Um, who knows what the future is going to bring? But I'm on Hartnett also, and I've been here almost 30 years, and I've never had anybody park in my yard. Going to the beach. Maybe, it, maybe it's your dog that keeps yeah, you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I do. I do have a problem with special permits. Paragraph A, health care permits. And it says, issue permits for health care to individuals where no off-street parking is available and where constant health care at the individual's residence is required by a licensed physician. Or, yeah. I would like to expand that to health care workers, you know, to... Because they're nurses. Th right. There's yeah, like... Nurses, um, so therapists. Therapists of, yeah. of all sorts, not just a... A licensed physician. Mm -hmm. That's um, healthcare givers. Yeah. Well, Doc doctors don't make right. house calls anymore, do they? Right. No, but I, I think I it's think not the intent call. of that is is that anybody who's who's having constant health care yeah, well, gets that under a physician's okay. order. Okay. But I don't I don't that's know. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. in, I'm not that, in that business. Yeah. And, and it and it mentions another little tweak mentions one permit. Some some folks have oh, maybe twenty four hour care, so they've got. Possibility yeah. of three shifts coming in, they would all need. We can work on that. The intent is not yeah. to be restrictive, yeah. but right. to right. to be inclusive. Allow for it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, that's okay. all the time. All right. Uh, uh, I'll let's take a vote on A and B. All, all those in favor of A, please raise your hand. Before we get that far for vote, I mean, and, and I've been leaning towards A all this time, and I've heard a lot of great comments from this table, and that's what this is okay, about. Okay. But I still think that we need to be inclusive of Waterway Boulevard down along around and 41st Street for the marina. I think that has to be part of this because. Every one of us had a lot of emails and comments from but, the residents. But what, what are you going to make it? You're going to make it you can't restricted. Make it, restricted. No parking at all. No, Be, no resident only. Parking. Resident only. There's no residents down there. Well, on um, Waterway. On um, Waterway. No, 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 no. On the first block of Waterway and down 41st. Or can I ask that's another? What, that's what you're talking. Or about. let me perfect it this way. As I drive and I walk every street on this island. Um, if you put your tires four feet off the road on the waterway, any car is going to be on the sidewalk. Correct. So <clears throat> that should be. But well, we haven't decided right. on, on the four foot. That's yeah. Yeah. Right. That's something There's no stage. four foot. Okay. They don't have to be four feet off no, there. No, that just have to be off the pavement. That was discussed, it's but never, we never moved forward on that. Okay. That, that's 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 back, that requires yeah. further investigation. Yeah. And I lean back towards the residential. Uh, another part of the waterway, which we have a problem, is <coughs> we, people we, on Goat Island 
Park around 25th, 25th. to uh, that, uh, that whole area, and, and that's been a, a thorn in the Nate residence side for many, many years that I was hoping to address with the, with the this program. Well, <coughs> I, I, don't, think, I, I don't want to hold up <coughs> a major program for these nagging right. things that are right. have been there for a long time that uh, <coughs> we can deal with if we have the appropriate data the chief etc right and we can go to the dot and say we want this area to be no parking period that would include residents also uh, i don't the, think that's what we're saying we're saying <laughs> residents only you know well like on, the on other 41st first. 41st in waterway. waterway well waterway i'm thinking and about. 41st 41st Okay. You know, There's not much right. Is there any residents? <laughs> I mean, well, you get down far seven. enough. You get down far enough. You can, you can make from where the residents are. You can, we could certainly, if, if there was an impact. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking that we're addressing. You know, I think that's. I, 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 the idea of trying to, you know, kill two birds with one stone here. And I think we have two different issues. I think we're really we need to address is the beach access parking right. and yeah. the problems that are arising from that. Um, obviously, we have parking problems around the marina area, and we need to address that. But I don't think it needs to stall the efforts that we've right. already put into this. Right. I think we need to move forward and address that on its own merit and move forward because the, the parking issues that we have on the front beach area are, are different than what we have Material. back in the marina mm -hmm. and different from what we have down Waterway Boulevard. So we need to address that on its own merit, not throw it in you know with the rest right. of it not throw out a good plan don't throw the baby out with the bathwater let's go ahead and move forward with something that's expandable that's fluid that we can work with address the marina problem that we have uh, you know focus on it because right now we're, we're just brought up we're going from breach and let the wild dunes right now let's 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 get this taken care of then we'll we'll focus in and laser in on the problems that we're having back there that we can address and, and pie out mr mayor please can we clarify one thing before we make these votes or this vote <laughs> on those north and side streets have we decided as a group that instead of being parking on both sides we will create parking for three cars at the end of each street on both well, a uh, and b could be eight, four. It, could it, be four. It, it, or four most of them can't take four yeah. well, Douglas most of them can take two I, I would take that as a second item because yeah most, right, of, most yeah. because yeah. It, it's a or, it's in a or b regardless and then we can that's what i'm saying we can yeah, move right. on but no, the, okay. those those end caps are really they're they're not that wide a street, so you can really put more. Well, you'd be really pushing it. It's more than the street; it's the street plus the right of way. I think right. Douglas has has graphic showing that actually four do fit. Right. Um, you get the whole right of way, not, not just. Well, I think we need to put in there what what will work to maintain the management plan. Right, and right. that's the biggest thing. Right. I mean, not not what we can fit in there, but what what do we need to maintain well, that. Okay, right. I, I'm going to make a motion on A, a or B, and then we, we come back and deal with that as a second item uh, on, well, on, on, on we a non-agenda. I, I have a question before you, either, yeah, because this relates to both of them. <laughs> and that is, you know, we have more parking in on the um, concept day on the uh, south side of the island than I thought we were going to have. <clears throat> When we discussed um, the parking, I thought we were going to have it, you know, just in a couple of the streets on the side streets. But the we have four, four, I guess I'm looking at four different avenues that are picked up by the beach, uh, by our parking lots for the beach fund management plan. So I'm not sure why we need to have parking there. Because if you, you know, you look at the, the two city lots, the lot and the county lot. But that wasn't part of our beach of management plan that was approved. You, well, you're was approved. correct in that in that we could get that credit if if we wanted to eliminate those, but what we did for the purposes of, of creating this exercise was we just used what the plan, existing plan identified. Right. That was the, the basis and, and the source. There would be the question of whether or not in our five year update, which we're about to do, um, if there was a space available there and we did not count it because we had that additional credit, I don't know, I don't know what right. the reaction would be um, by the state, by OCRM, who has to approve our plan, to our doing that. Right. I have bounced that idea to them that we, you know, should really only count the number of spaces that we're required to count to get the credit. Mm -hmm. And their comeback to it was, if there is enough room there for the space, we would want you to count it as a space. We could, we could always remove these from the plan, and if the state, if we got into a tussle with the state about these four s sections, we're not talking about that many cars, mm -hmm. then we can always add them back in again. But, you know, I, I've been working on the assumption that we were not going to have parking on these streets 
all this time and all of a sudden it we have to get the beach management plan updated and that would give us the opportunity then to if we wanted to to remove them we can't remove them now because it would, it would we'd be in breach of our beach man, approved beach management plan so are you talking about have, all of those streets all no of i'm talking streets? about there's, talking about there's, um, there's six of them right on the ocean right, right? and i'm looking right. at the, the four the, the four the the four to the right Third, so those fourth, are the ones. Fifth, i didn't expect six, us to have seven, parking eight. there even even though we're trying to create a whole new parking plan we're held to what <coughs> until we get the new one approved we, you gotta we're, we're dealing with two separate matters we're dealing with the, our beach plan then we have the beach uh what's what? the timing of the approvals we just authorized <coughs> we just we, authorized we, the contract for it to be written so we have to get it written probably in six months mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we get it written first and then council has to approve it and then the state has to approve it so and, in, in and, our new in the state it's an interactive process the state eventually comes back and would, wants modifications we say so is time. the question in the new plan whether we include this or not include this if the, according to what they have told me in their verbal direction so far if there's space there to part they would want us to count it that that is what they have verbally told us as to whether or not when the consultant goes out and does the work you know things have changed since 2008 just some of the changes that we have made in terms of regulation that this body has made and DOT has a prep have approved in terms of regulation means that what is out there now is different from what was out there in 2008 and we don't know the answer to that yet until that field work is done um, for example what was it in the down there in the 50s where we made the change that your wheels have to be off the road mm -hmm. um, and and DOT approved that change you know understanding that may mean that there are fewer spaces to count down there in that section and and the same is true in some of these others so the work has to get done before I can really answer that question um, that's why we went with the base document that's already approved because that is um, depending on which side of the coin you fall on either the best case scenario or the worst case scenario um, so that's mm -hmm. why we used it you can okay. always change them right. later right <clears throat> I, I, and I'd just like to say you know, we don't have a plan now we can vote on a plan or we can keep talking about the, the little things and still not have a plan I think we need to get a plan and adjust accordingly as as we move forward. I would like to think we're going to get it exactly right the first time, but <laughs> good luck. What are the chances of that? Okay. I'll, can I make one final comment sure. before you make your motion because it might play into the motion? Um, you have on here an executive session for legal advice, um, and and we have brought with us some blank maps to lay on the table um, in order to do hybrid versions of whatever plan you like. Um, and so for any motion that might prefer one plan over the other, I would urge you to include the flexibility um, to make modifications to that right. plan sure. after executive session because there may be some need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna make a motion to approve the conceptual plan for district B for district parking in the residential area um, and move forward with that uh, subject to further refinements as we hear from our attorneys. Second. And, and, okay. Motion and second. Any further discussion? One, one last discussion yep. and since the police chief is here <laughs> and I heard a comment from one of the council members talking about the area being small or large does the police chief see it being better by being smaller concept or A or concept B. okay that answers <laughs> my question thank you that's for the record he said yes <laughs> 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 okay all in favor of the motion for concept b please say uh, say aye i guess for what concept aye. B. 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 b okay aye. 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 can show of hands please all right all one day and yeah, all <laughs> opposed one day okay all right so now we're into concept b and the modifications we might wish to make to it uh, we've already talked about the avenues 42nd to uh, 
Uh, I guess 50, is that 53rd, I think. 53rd. Um, and I, I sense a consensus to proceed on with trying to figure out what we can put at the at the dead end of, of that, uh, whether it be three or four spaces, and then make the rest of the avenue no parking. Yeah, one question as for 42nd. I think we've done a great job at the end of 42nd on the right-hand side. We have created a little parking area as opposed to being straight at the very end of the street. Is that one of our handicap access? Not it's not officially. Not yet. It's also <laughs> yeah. it's an emergency. Yeah. Moby, I would, I would emergency. Emergency. Yeah. emergency. Yeah. Yeah. discussion yeah. to make it. A so that one, we wouldn't have parking at the end of the street, so we right. can have our emergency right. vehicles get down there, so the parking would be on the right so hand really side. We already 50 had 50 plenty 50. of parking there, so. Yeah. Yeah. But, Sorry, but just at that very though. end. It's not 42nd. At the very end of the street, not all the way down. Just right, right. So I'm just trying to clarify. And 53rd is an emergency beach access. Right. Same exact thing. You'd have the same thing. Okay. Just making sure we all on the same page. Right. And it's not stated, but for anybody who's here, golf carts are exempt from any of these regulations. They park wherever they can legally. So I know that's always been a question. It's, yeah. never, no, it's no. never been our intent oh, no. to. Okay, now if we're going to create car parking spots at the end of the fingers, can golf carts park in those spots? If they're yeah. parking spots, mm -hmm. they're there. Right, mm -hmm. just. Thank you. This is just the work Our product cuts. from before. <laughs> where you were, you prepared. <laughs> I was reminded that this was done <laughs> <laughs> many years ago. Actually. This is a, the old work product from this was when it was in the planning commission's um, <coughs> purview. I like to that. So we're going to cut out all the uh, landscaping yeah, at the bottom and uh, not brush really and everything else? It's well, it's yeah, the vegetation. Vegetation. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I think vegetation is terrible. Vegetation is terrible. Okay. Great. With the parking pods. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that one. <laughs> exactly what it looks like. Two or does. I think we need I think we all need to get out there and take a look at this, study mm -hmm. it, see what mm -hmm. is involved, because all of this is beyond the existing <clears throat> paved road. This is all on the uh, on the dry sand uh, mm -hmm. and heavily vegetated. Uh, some are some are worse than others. I took a ride today and actually took pictures of every one of them. They're just terribly overgrown. It's not like well. Well, what would happen if we? The, the island used. What to be I was thinking there. is instead of taking all that vegetation and cut it in, because it's going to take a lot of money to upgrade this, as far as because it's not it's sand, it's dune, it's it's a lot of holes and everything else. If we just created two spots at the end of each fingers on the pavement and, and lined them off. <coughs> I, and not practical because sometimes the pavement actually ends right at someone's driveway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on some of the streets. So it's going to have to go to but, where it is now. I mean, there, I, there is I, space. I, I don't think we can sit here and yeah, design right, this. Yeah. We, right, we need yeah. to allow more learned folks to get out mm -hmm. there, do check out exactly where the right of way ends and where private property begins, yeah. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. And because we're, we're beyond our headlights on that subject. And on another minor point along those, that, that whole area down here is on our major projects list for drainage. drainage. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we need to be spending money on these areas trying to improve these parking spots when we may be working on our drainage down there you know, trying to do two jobs because of one. And another thing is, I think... It'll be a while before we do drainage. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think the thing is, you have to realize is, first of all, <clears throat> what is our beach man management plan going to require us to have? Right. right. <clears throat> From then, there, then we can move forward. The common sense-wise, it would be like, if we need to have so many spots here, then let's go see what it would take. I want to remind you, I don't know who was all on council at the time, maybe just a couple of us, but we went through and made modifications to the 42nd Avenue beach access path and the blowback that we got from the residents because we just went through and opened it up. And it, it, we did not open it up 40 foot, mind you. No. Mm -hmm. We only opened it up enough to get a truck through there and it was, it was, it was bad. It was painful. It was very painful. It, the and people, the residents did not like the idea of their, this, their path being leveled. So, 
now they appreciate it. <laughs> and, you know. The flip side is they also don't appreciate people parking on right. the street. Right. right. You're absolutely right. Don't, don't some of these streets, the, the asphalt goes into the dunes on some of these? Well, that's the question. That's, that's, that's why we got to get down there. Out. Where does the asphalt stop? Each one needs to be dressed individually in accordance with the beach management area. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't, you know, rubber stamp it all the same. Right. But leaning one, towards four. One may have one, one may have two, one may have three. You know, it just depends on what the, the you know, ecological environment is there without, with the least amount of disturbance to the, the neighbors and the property. Yep. Well, I, th I think we've made a major step forward uh, already, but we have a lot of steps let, yet to go here. Uh, B is a, is a very uh, strong movement to uh, give the residents some relief. Um, also to give us some control of the parking where we're going to allow it. Um, but we need to, to implement this, we need to make some decisions as far as now in the parking pass arena, how many passes do we issue for the season? How many passes do we issue for a month or a week? Or how many passes do we issue on a daily basis? And obviously all the passes that get issued aren't going to be used statistically uh, all, all on the same day. So if we have uh, 500 spaces that we perceive is to be available, you know, what's, I'm picking that as a number just as a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many passes do we want to issue uh, on an annual, I say annual, but season, the season, season, season. seasonal. Um, I'd, I'd like to err on the side of a lot of seasonal passes, see how they move will know that because people will have an opportunity to buy them early. And then if they move well, then we don't have as many weekly or daily passes. Um, but the number can be, we can issue 2,000 annual passes and, you know, well, I know, yeah, it's a shock, but the odds are <laughs> yes, it's not going right, to right. consume uh, 500 spaces, probably right. 200 at most on any given day right. from an annual basis, 10%. Um, how, how I, we need first to know how many spaces we have. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's yes, and Douglas's. And, and we have that data. Stantec provided that. As I remember, yeah. Um, but, so we know total. Let's say it's 1,050. Whatever. No, no, no. no, no. It's not. We, All right. Five no, okay. If, if you go back to the Stantec data, they said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll give you a memorial, maybe, right. 1,088 cars. 231 of them were on Carolina and the avenues uh, on the uh, west end of the island. Right. So, so on the rest of the island, I meant there were only 800 or close to 900. Uh, but that included the marina. That included elsewhere on, on the island, not just uh, what we're referring to as the beach access mm. parking. So there were, I didn't add them up. We could ask well, the state. Well, carved out of the section B. I mean, we should be able to identify the spaces right. in right. there. We can now ask the state to we go through and yeah. say how many were there. We've that got data from the state. So I, don't, many, I didn't many spaces commit it to it? memory. I'd have to go back and check it. So. Right. Well, I mean, but so we, have, we have a, a hard number, we got it. and all we have to do is massage that number and make it. Consider it five, six, seven hundred. It's not going to be much more than that. Is what we have available, and uh, or what were there mm -hmm. on a, on a peak day. The, the question is, how do we get to a number of passes that we're going to sell for the season, the, the month, and the week? We just basically have to, and it's not going to be right. The first year out, I, I know it's not <laughs> going to be right, but let's we need to start. Have some some spots used two or three times during the day, and some spots just blocked up for the full eight hours, ten hours, or whatever. So, which of course is another dilemma. How do you possibly keep track? You have to have a, a finite number and never go above mm -hmm. it. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't. I mean, because space space on Fifth Avenue could turn over three times. That's that's one yeah. space yeah. and three right. times. If they have to pick a number as a Mayor, and I think, if I may, I mean, one of the problems we had, I mean, the reason we started coming up with the parking pass and try to limit the number of cars, because cars are parking everywhere on the island, right. I think we solved a big part of this problem by just limiting to the South. parking to a number of certain spots on the island. Um, I mean, do, do we actually need a number now? I mean, do we need this? I mean, because those numbers, I mean, those, like you said, those, those may fill up and go over, maybe turn well, over I, a number I, of times. And I mean, the fact that if we're only restricting it to you know a certain areas on the island those that's the only place they can park what happens if we sell our 500 seasonal passes and 
you know, and then, you know, when people park different areas. I mean, there's still a, a large stretch of Palm Boulevard that's open, and we, on our side, our... So are you proposing we have no limit? We sell as many seasonal passes as well, people want to buy them? Well, I think... I, I mean, think, I, it's I, a, that's a, an well, interesting thought. Well, I think so, because we have... Now we've... We have a small strip on Palm Boulevard and a couple strips in, in the, the south end of the island that we're enforcing. Right. I mean, and those are going to turn over and turn over and turn over. Um, I don't see the issue for it. Now that we can just enforce that area of the island, I mean, it's just going to continually turn over. What happened? You know, we're going to limit, you know, we're going to sell 500 passes. You know, number 501 comes across and says, sorry, you don't have a pass, you, but you are going to get a ticket now, though. You know, okay. it, it doesn't it make sense if, if there's proper parking there. I, that's an interesting thought. I, I you know, I, I kind of like it. And that was yeah, one, of the, yeah. one of the reasons we're pushing for the passes right. was just to decrease the number of people coming over. Yeah. Now we're, it's not that we're decreasing. We're telling them where to go. We're telling them how to park. We're telling them how to, you know, have the least impact on the island and its citizens. And that's by where the, where they're going to park. Okay. Um, so it opens it up, but there's always going to be parking there. And I mean, the number. And I don't think it's going to matter. Well, well I, I, I'm I'm on the premise that we, we can sell as many seasonal passes. We'll know that at the, at the start of whenever we mm -hmm. start the process. Right. Uh, and, 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 if it, and if it's limited. and if it's oversubscribed, I mm -hmm. mean, we sell five thousand of them. We we know we're not going to have right. to issue many daily passes. So we're right. going to always have to issue daily passes. Well, right. we can't yeah. possibly. Yeah. Yeah. You need True. to have a bare minimum of daily passes yeah. to issue. That has to be part of the program. It has to be. Okay. I, I was just going to say that the thing we don't want to see, uh, part of the reason for this is we don't want to see cars parked all the way on Palm from 21st to 41st, bumper to bumper. And, you know, that's still an old that's lot of part of the reason we're doing this too is to 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 give those folks a right. little bit of relief. True. Uh, we need to be fair to them. So, has anybody thought about that we these parking passes, annual parking passes, start gathering dust? People Meaning buy them and hold them. No, people just don't don't, them. don't buy them. Oh, don't buy them. That will happen the first year, definitely. Yeah. People will buy them as a fail safe, and then we'll. Well, no, no. I hear no, I hear two things. He says they they're just not going to buy them. And, they're not going to buy them. Oh, well, I think just. They'll just wait till the day they want to come. Or? Yeah. Well, we'll see that. You know, that would be. We're assuming on that. We, there's no way for us to know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we always have the commercial lots available and the county lots always available. To when are we going to get? To the point, it's about talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I we'll like get, we'll just, get there. I, I think we're going to need to hear from our city attorney um, before we get too far down this path, um, because we might have more that we then have to go back and redo. So I would encourage you to do that. I would also s say sort of the same argument that goes to the issue of it would be no parking to everybody if you made it no beach parking in certain areas because of safety. If there aren't some limits to the numbers, then you know if what if the purpose of doing this is public safety and crowds and not being able to control it, then not having any limit suggests yeah. that you didn't really have a problem. At least I would worry about that. And that's why I think we probably ought to, um, before we get into too many nuts and bolts and logistics, because we may need to draw on the map again, uh, should probably hear from our city attorney in executive session about issues related to, um, to what we're proposing and uh, what you guys may need to know relative to that. Okay, before we do that, and to follow up on Jimmy's point, what would it take to contract to get an app and a website uh, available to to implement this? And, and the enforcement side of that also needs to be scoped out. Are we ready to begin that? Do, uh, we're, 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 <laughs> Well, they've had a vendor's discussion, but yeah. you know we haven't figured out how much it's going to cost. Now that we know the size and shape of how many people we're going to try and right. register as residents and et cetera, it may, may give us a better shape. Do you and and I, I, without you know, before when we talked about this issue, what I said was we've got to be able to tell the vendors what we want, mm -hmm. so that right. then they can turn mm -hmm. around and tell us, well, it'll take us this long to create that for you, and. 
um, and put the mechanisms in place. And we don't know the answers to those things. Now we're getting closer to being able to tell them what we want, what the components would be of the data that, that would be put in there. Um, I do know that at least one of the vendors that we spoke to before does custom work. All of their stuff is not, you know, off the shelf everything's tailored the same and you have to follow their system. They do um, different and custom type systems and I believe that's what ours would, would be. So, you know, once we know as a staff what you all have decided that we want to implement, then we need to enter into some dialogues with some of these vendors to see what it would take in terms of time. Definitely, we our backs are up against the wall in terms of time frame because not only do we have to get a vendor for the appropriate software for the kind of program that that we would implement to allow this to be done, but anything that we implement is going to require that we pass an ordinance. And so, unless we're having special meetings, um, is and still there's a time window between there. We've got to if you normally a couple of months to pass an ordinance. So I mean, you just kind of mentally tick through that time. That's January, February. Um, and so, you know, that is of a concern and then we have to get all of the personnel in place uh, for the enforcement component of it too. Uh, the biggest thing, once you all have established what you want to do, then I see the next step is that we start trying to scope out a budget and part of that budget mm -hmm. would be to be talking to some of these software vendors to figure out an estimate on what it would cost and the length of time that it would, would go. So. Uh, you know, pulling together a budget specific to this, hopefully it'll be within the framework of the number that we have in the budget for implementation, but we won't know that until we're closer to knowing what you want to do. And of course we have to go to SCDOT to get this okay. Perfect. We have already yeah. anticipated setting a meeting with them to... We have a ton of data. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, Quick questions. But I, just be, I, I, I'm speaking for... The, I'll look at heads here, see so if I see any... It, it, we're here most of the season. We may not have a formal session, but I, I'm not uh, adverse to calling a special council meeting to deal with whether it be an ordinance uh, first reading mm -hmm. or some mm -hmm. uh, some other aspect of this. That uh, because we don't want to, uh, we're not moving at <laughs> lightning speed the way it is, but at least we're making progress, and, and I want to keep making progress and and put it in place as quickly as we can, even if we don't make uh, April first or. May 1st. Or well, let, let me just ask yeah, one general please. question about the, the amount that's in the budget. What if it's double that? Where's that money going to come from? If it's double that, then we have to make a decision whether or not we want to move forward. And if we decide to move forward, where would that money come from? I don't know the answer to that. You don't, right know, you don't know the answer to that? Okay. I've been asking about the money since the very beginning. I understand there's a lot of steps we had to jump, hoops we had to jump through to get to this point, but I'm still very concerned about it. It's, something's going to be at, coming out of our pocket up front. Right. Definitely. There's, sure. there's no yes, question about it. You have to pay for it up front before you receive anything I, I, on the yeah, other side. That. So, I mean, but, it may be a timing matter. We pay in yeah. one fiscal year and just save saying, the I'm very interested. In the next, but. I'm really interested in that, in yeah. that next step. Mr. Mayor. Yeah. On well, that same point, and one with Jimmy and, and with Linda. Um, you know, the numbers, when I first got elected to council, I pulled up numbers for Charleston County, Mount Pleasant. At that time, there were 68,000 people in Mount Pleasant. Where now, I think there's like 73,000 people in Mount Pleasant and 350,000 in Charleston County. But this is a couple years later. Who knows what that number is? And 136 in Dorchester, 106. My point being, if we had 5,000 permits and, you know, they're reasonable that we sell, how many people are really going to come to the beach on a regular basis? The magic question. Yeah, it's like when you buy a new boat, you, you use it real a whole lot the first <laughs> couple weeks. Then it's always in the shop. Then it's in the shop. You get sunburned, you don't come back for a few days. So, you know, it's not like the number we sell, they're going to use it every day. Correct. I guess that's the point right. in front of me. Yeah. So I think it needs to be a reasonable cost, too, and then the daily passes yeah, but we also need to be fair if we sell an annual pass to someone we have space. to have a yeah. space for them to park I mean right. I, we've been using right. the analogy of a, a going to a game in Charles in uh, Columbia for USC and they have X amount of tickets to sell and once those tickets are sold you can't get in the stadium you're done that's it and you know, just like our party because there are some people you know, with the growth of Charleston moving forward 
there are going to be some peak weekends where we are really going to be very, very full, and we could max out uh, this. So my concern is that we have an, that we, we can guarantee that commitment if someone buys an annual pass that they're going to have access to a spot on those peak weekends yeah. somewhere. That's you see, we win every weekend in the summer because of where we live. The Gamecocks don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to school there. I see a couple of Gamecock people back. I'd be careful saying that. <laughs> right. on it. We and, love our Gamecocks. And also, you know, with Plan B is, you know, I think when we hit that situation, when we hit that wall of people and everything else, and they can't get a space, they're going to be going into Hartnett and they're going to walk uh, from three or four blocks to get to the beach because. <clears throat> You know, if you promise you're, you're coming from Somerville and you promise the kids you're going to the beach and you go to the beach and there's no place to park, you're going to, you're not going to turn around and go back to Somerville. You're going to park on Hartnett. That's true. Well, I agree with, with Michael. I, I don't think we can have a finite number of seasonal passes. Um, you mean an infinite? Infinite, infinite. excuse me. Yeah. Uh, well, word, but <laughs> well, uh, I'd rather err on the side of selling too few than too many. Okay. And always adjusted in the yeah. subsequent mm -hmm. year. Well, let's get Stantec to give, you've already got some numbers, we'll pull the numbers together, how many spaces we're talking about as being available, work up some magic as far as. Well, I'd like to get their advice on what they can, a recommendation right. from them. Right. What percentage of, <laughs> must have some right. two, of two to all one, three, three classes, of annual, mm -hmm. monthly, and daily passes, that they would could recommend to council uh, or the city. And, what we and we're talking about getting a budget together for the implementation phase. We also need a budget for the enforcement phase, mm -hmm. which it may. To me, be, that was may, that'll be, be all okay. right. Right. <laughs> um, but that may be that involves personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, Some of people. And uh, we've not discussed it, but uh, I want to throw it out. It, it would be my plan that we enforce it with city personnel. Not not hired guns that we uh, contract out and let them. I mean, is there any, yeah. Does anybody the, the want to object to that? Right. Public relations? PR, no. Yeah. no. Those, I, I don't want. Would those city personnel be just for that the, season? The season, sure. like, like our beach, beach service. service, service officers. Officers. But don't we have a problem trying to find beach service officers? We have them more. At the end of the season, we do. Yeah. I'm looking at the chief, and he, he's still stoic, so he hasn't. He hasn't. He didn't fill <laughs> it is difficult to find, but you know, we we more positions, you know, and if we um, look at adjusting on the wage, we might improve that. It's more the clearance issue than. Mm -hmm. the right. Yeah, they've got to pass the, no. this, the rigorous. Uh, under, of any, as under we do any B. public search. Under Plan B, we have to. There, there are people in that in that section. They're, they're going to have to buy passes, correct? As far as mm -hmm. to have guest parking or that type of thing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. Restricted. Right. Mm -hmm. One Restricted thing I'd like to suggest different in the plan right now is that we shouldn't date those passes. They should be, into, when people use them up, they Pick use it. them up. Just like the oh. anytime stamp, because it should be, they shouldn't expire at the end of the season. Well, You're saying that, well, that's a detail again. Well, I know, but so it's something I, I don't if want. If they buy 30 and don't use 30, they right, can use they them next year. Right, right. so example, you may have not, a birthday party part in August right, right. and not use all 30. Well, yeah. I don't want to that's see a, someone get ripped right. off, but they should not expire. Yeah, 50 cents a piece. Well, in the interest of making sure that we're, we're not going at a slow pace, that we, that we keep the momentum, how long is it going to take to get uh, these uh, this data from Santec? And how often, or how soon can we use that data to make some really important decisions about how many season passes, how many monthly, or uh, weekly? Um, I was thinking of getting to, I haven't, well, I'll let you answer. Well, I was just going to say, you know, Stantec has, we've been pushing Stantec away related to this for now because, um, you know, they still have the next component of their work for us, which was assisting us with the implementation and doing an RFP for a vendor and things of that nature. So, you know, they know these meetings are coming on or have been happening and, and they've been reaching out to me saying, do you need us for it? Do you need us for it? We haven't needed them to this stage. Well, now, you know, I can immediately go back to them and go back to some of the data they've already supplied and, and get them involved again. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my hope that we can sit down again in, let's say the first week of December is we have to get through the DOT uh, date that we've got tentative we got to give Stantec some time Linda's got to put some budgeting process together um, so that, that would be my thought on, on uh, come in, in 
I haven't checked your calendars and all, but uh, I know we're meeting on the sixth. I think it is. The second. The sixth. Second. The second. The second. I'll look. It is the second. Is the sixth is my birthday. So I know. Sixth is a Saturday. It's the sixth is the. Uh, okay, Saturday I got festival. the wrong date. Ah, okay. That's why it's Mr. important. Mayor. That's why mm -hmm. it's important. <laughs> So we're meeting on the excuse me. We're meeting on the second. So maybe we could just tag on to that. I'd like to go back to. It, it seems to be the general consensus that we want to do this in house rather than having you know, contracted out mm -hmm. for the enforcement. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing that well, we don't we don't want to outsource it because they may be heavy handed, et cetera, et cetera. But couldn't it work just the opposite way? I mean, are our officers BSOs or whatever we call them? Um, going to have the, the authority to be as heavy-handed as they need to be to enforce this and if they do is our our police department going to get a bad rap because they're having to be whereas if you outsource it and you have somebody that's putting in a brand new program and it's going to have glitches like we've all talked about it would it be better to have an outsource get those bangs rather than our own police force Plus the payroll tax savings and retirement and all that right. stuff. Right, and equipment. The ESOs and get retirement? Well, we're not no, really, well, no, they're part-time, part part you know, seasonal people. They're not full-time yeah. people, for one thing. And, you know, I, I think we can control it better. I think we have a great police department, and I think... Uh, but those are, it's not going to be our police department. Well, it's, I know. It's not, I don't agree we're with outsourcing gonna, this. I think yeah. we should right. keep it in-house. Right. I think we have the means and the... Uh, uh, the foundation to do a good job with it and uh, to me, I think you run into a situation when you're outsourcing right. number one we'd lose all that revenue okay oh what revenue well you have oh, to, I thought you this have has to, to be from, revenue from, well, it will be but I mean yeah, right. tickets and everything no, yeah. it's, it doesn't make it, you know, it costs a premium to, to outsource yeah, it but it's, yeah, it's, it, it, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a deal breaker going to executive session yeah, yeah, yeah but one well, thing I said I mean you said I mean you wouldn't want to have a black eye on, on, the, on the police department if we were enforcing it. I said, no matter who enforces it, it's, it's going to put a black eye on the right. police department because <laughs> right. they're not going to differentiate whether it was, you know, outsourced, uh, outsourced yeah. right. because they're still going to be in uniform. All they know is they got a ticket. Yeah. It's right. going to be aisle it's palms. It's mm -hmm. from the aisle palms. It happens on aisle palms where they're going to blame aisle palms. It doesn't matter who, who did it, but I, agree. I agree. But I, mean, I think we I mean, we need to move forward. Either we have okay. to go through executive right. session yeah. to find out what we agree on is actually can do, and what, what needs to be modified. Um, so okay, Mr. one quick question: If we do go in, when we do go in executive session, we've got so many people here. Could we just take our group and go upstairs. across the hall so we don't or upstairs or upstairs, or upstairs. We'll upstairs. Mm -hmm. just yeah. to make it convenient yes, for so all these people? Else can stay here. I was yeah. glad to see so many idea. people turn yeah. out. Okay, uh, do I hear a motion to go so in we'll section to hear from our legal attorney? Advice. To hear from our attorney on this matter. And you may come back and <laughs> yeah, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Are you good to go? A, B, C, is in it. We're good. Okay. All right. Let's come out of executive session. We uh, adjourn to the other upstairs at our executive session. We heard from our attorney. Made those no decisions. Just uh, <clears throat> we ran around the barn a little bit. <laughs> because we're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't. You know, on, from a legal standpoint, of course. Uh, so, um, I was just making the point as we left that uh, we are going to meet with the DOT and uh, explore the option that we've presented. Um, and if that doesn't, frankly, if that doesn't make uh, them real happy, we'll go back to concept A, <laughs> see if that'll make them happy. And if, if neither of those are uh, acceptable, we'll ask them for their recommendation on C. You know. But um, we need to get their concurrence. and how we proceed here, um, notwithstanding our attorney's uh, advice, I mean, they could be the biggest legal impediment we face going forward, uh, let alone any any upset citizen uh, of the low country. In that regard, Mayor, we have some representatives that are supporting us. Does that have any? Um, we we not sure we have <laughs> on B. B has changed uh, where we were with uh, some of our legislators. Notwithstanding, uh, Mike, I've not sampled him on, uh, his, on on where we are right now, but I think B is not 
uh, not supported uh, from, from our local senator, I would suspect. But we'll, we'll see where that takes us. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of it has to do with the DOT, and if, if we can get them on board, uh, then the rest is left for others. So, other subjects? Well, well, please. I don't know if it's, you know, we can't discuss anything that happened in executive session, of course, but, you know, um, I'm just wondering if everybody had the same feelings before we went into executive session. As we do coming out? Right. Yeah. Agree. A, A versus and B. And if there's, you know, I mean, I, uh, procedurally, according to the rules of order, if, if somebody wanted to ask about another vote, reconsider it. I don't know. I, I'd like to make that motion. Anybody well, you wish, got a, the any, person that made the original motion in the second has to withdraw it. And no, we can make another motion as long as the party making the motion was in the affirmative. On the winning right. side. Oh, okay. That's everybody yeah, with as my as <laughs> Whoever <laughs> was on the winning side of the argument, they can make a motion. So you can't do it. I can't. No. <laughs> Mr. Mr. I'm, Mayor. I'm silent. You finally figured out a way to silence me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to be quiet for a while. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. That we go back to A. And we have four zones from Booch Inlet to 21st. Um, zone B would be from 21st to 30th Avenue, front to back. Zone C would be from 30th Avenue to 41st, from front to back. And then Zone D, D would be from 41st on 40, down. 42nd to 57th. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Is there a motion or is there a second? Are we are we missing the motion to, to reconsider? reconsider to reconsider. Which would be Do we have to reconsider? A separate motion. Maybe right? you have to make a motion, motion to, reconsider. to reconsider first, reconsider. and then okay. make the motion. Okay. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> so you've made a you've made a motion to reconsider uh, <laughs> the the decision to yes, sir. proceed with concept B. Yes, sir. Motion to reconsider. Is there a second on? I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> discussion. For, for discussion, I'm at. I, my, my opinion definitely changed because some information came to light that we were not made aware of going in to. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it perhaps could change the whole outlook of where you think it's going. But it's not that we're taking, I mean, we're not just taking the one off the table. I mean, obviously, like you said, we're going to present both of them to the DOT. Mm -hmm. um, we still have to move forward with different options in this thing. I, I mean, whether we move forward with this with a or with b to dot they're both getting presented to dot and hopefully dot is going to say well this one we will do this one we'll do that one that's going to narrow us down perhaps on which way we're going to go um and, and i don't understand why we just can't take both up to dot yeah. and say which one which one of these options is going to be best for us why are we going to put all our eggs in one basket only is for dot to say Nope, that one's not going to work. Now we're going to wait, wait, wait. We, we got another one here. Let's push that one forward. I think we should have a preference. So yeah. why That's can't why. we? Why can't we? Let me see, these are our options. Which one? Yeah. Which one's going to work we, best for us? I, I, my, my then fear let's is, move that, forward my on fear that is one. they don't give us an answer. They say right. we, we right. take us. We'll listen to you until and then we're pushed know, back more, mm -hmm. and then we're back to where we are. Michael, you know, I d didn't vote for the original motion um, uh, for item B. I think item A is. A, fairest way for all island all people all residents of the island are be, will be treated equally uh, and the way the process would work I think B would be very confusing for a lot of people especially with the provision in there to have different pockets where some people can opt in some people can opt out and to me one of the critical issues we have right now with the um, the residents I mean, it was very clear what the residents made a point during the public uh, session that we had on parking uh, what they were looking for from council and, and, and a parking point and they all every, the, the consensus that I came away with is we absolutely positively need to do something on the island from a safety issue from a livability issue uh, but the also was the consensus is is that you know we do not need residents should not have to pay for parking on the beach and Island A takes care of that provision. I mean, item A concept. or project no, concept. 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 concept A concept A takes uh, addresses that issue, and I think it's something that would be very favorable for the residents compared to um, concept B. Maybe. To the contrary, go ahead. To the oh, contrary, I think we heard from the residents, particularly those away from the beach, 
they don't want to have to pay to park in their own uh, in their own right away. Um, they don't want to be regulated. They um, and, and and secondly, um, we're spending a lot of time on this, and, and we've engaged legal counsel, and legal counsel has said this is our best chance to get it through legally. I, if in fact we go with your idea, Ryan, I would go with this is our, if there's an agreement, that this is our best plan, then if it gets shot down, then we go with plan, the, the other opposite plan. Mr. Look. Mayor? Or? Um, I can't in good conscience vote to push forward a plan that we've been told we're going to legally get cut off at the knees. I, it just doesn't make any sense. And that's basically where we're at. So, mm -hmm. uh, as much as I'd like to give free parking to everyone, if that's not legally possible, then what's the point? Mr. Mayor, Same I here. also heard from our residents that they they didn't want to be impacted by having to buy a pass or a permit for a day or an evening or whatever. Um, when they had visitors there. In other words, if um, not only did they not want to pay to park on the beach, but they didn't want to be worried about, you know, if I'm going to have 20 people over here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I have to go find, you know, 30 passes for them. So I think there's, there's two aspects of what our, our residents are looking for. Um, and I'm not sure that Plan B is going to enable them to not be impacted. Either way, they're going to be impacted. Correct. Um, Correct. And, and that's, that's the crux of the matter. Right. The, and the, if we're looking at one, we have less legal objections to, and it's going to impact some residents, and the other one we do have legal objections to, and it's going to impact our residents. You know, I think we have to go with the legal side. Okay. And one of the things that Patrick had mentioned, I just want to make clear, is that he said with um, I mean with option A, you know, I mean you're not you're not charging anybody to park in front of their house. You're not charging people to park there. And that, that's what I'm saying. It's and that's one we brought up, and that, that's not it at all. It's you just have to get a permit or whatever. And the, the, the administrative, nobody administrative. wants to be bothered with having right. to, oh, I forgot to get my right. permit so my Correct. cousin can't well, for park right. For right. For themselves. Right. For themselves, right. You would be paying if you had right. guest parking in your right away. Yeah, true. I think item A is going to increase enforcement costs. The consent concept mm -hmm. uh, A over B. You know, just one other thing in defense of B and then I'll shut up. One resident, I remember vividly, doesn't live that close to the beach but she has sons, friends, and whatever. They come over and they park at her house and then they go to the beach. Mm -hmm. You see, if we go with A, those guys parking there are okay. gonna have to have the passes. Mm -hmm. So anyone can come over to whatever. Are you in, are you, never mind. Someone on some street somewhere, you know. They, anyone can come over, mm -hmm. park, park, park in the yard. and walk to the beach. Mm -hmm. We're All right, we have a motion to reconsider any other discussion? Well, this is a motion just so, to well, reconsider. I want to make reconsider. sure I understand what I'm voting for. Yeah. It's, it's, just to to it's just to reconsider the motion. If, if you vote for it, then we'll reconsider yeah, we the. Reconsider. Okay, and if you, you vote against it, we'll stay with the. Mm -hmm. We'll stay with the decision we've got. All in favor of reconsidering the motion previously approved, please say. Aye. Aye. Raise your hand. Aye. All right. Tennessee hands. Three. There were three. Okay. All opposed. Everyone else? All right, the motion stands, and we'll hear from DOT uh, shortly. It's, and it's a win win no matter what. <laughs> well, but that's the way I look at it. Yeah. But the yeah. problem is, it's, it's I doing mean, something. Even though, I mean, even if we get. We get feedback from DOT. The whole thing's going to make change again. Oh, yeah. man. I mean, we're sure. just moving forward with an idea. Right. DOT is going to make their changes. We're going to come back. I mean, there there may not be an A or a B, but it right. may be a C or a D. I just don't want to get to true. Z. So yeah, right. the, the important thing is that we end up with a plan. Right. Uh, all right. So, uh, Mayor, in the interest Please. of keeping things on track, do you want to go ahead and set another tentative meeting I while thought, we're all here together? I, um, I you know, mentally, I had you, uh, you mentioned the second. I was going to just tag on to the second. Okay, so um, but isn't it the second 
required. Well, no, we would have to. There would have to be another. We'd have a notice. notice. A separate we'd have, we'd have a separate notice. Date. Mm -hmm. Special okay. notice. Just mm -hmm. since it's already on everybody's calendar and it's a, it's a, it's going to be a quick meeting. It's five or five thirty, whatever we do it. Uh, it's it's six, six on the six. calendar, Mr. Mayor. Six. Six. We can change the time. I'd just yes. like to remind you that Carl Charleston versus the Citadel that <laughs> night. Oh man, you're killing me. So, can we, can we meet at four on the second? It's fine with me. Tuesday, four, three thirty. Let's do it at three thirty. Okay. And so that'll, that'll be the regular session, or no, that'll no, be we'll have a special, special meeting first. on parking. Parking and then, first, and then, and then we'll, the regular meeting, so we don't have to change the time of the regular. Then we'll have the regular meeting, meeting okay. thereafter. Six. Say that again now. Three thirty yeah. would be the parking meeting on okay. the second. Can, can we say followed closely by the? <laughs> well, that <laughs> council meeting time and date has already been advertised, yeah. and um, right. I think it's in the code too. Yeah, but if I we finish early, I don't want to now, sit will around you, here. Will you so be able to meet with we DOT prior to the second? Yes. yes. So you uh, you have that all wrapped up. We have a couple of dates. We have to just confirm the uh, time and place. Three thirty. Three thirty on the second. Followed by another meeting at six p.m. Yeah. Which should be a fast meeting. I would. Yes. Yeah. Cupcake. Another meeting at six. Okay. Ugh. Okay. All right. Thanks for your attention. Meeting um, to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All right. We're out of here. Thank you all for coming. All right. It's been mind blowing. <laughs> it was a great meeting. Thank you. Right.